Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. As you see, my art journal is super bulky now. So half of the time I am fighting with my journal to create something and uh, half of the time I am uh, focusing on the project. But anyway, I will try. This will be probably my uh, last page in this journal because uh, it became impossible to work on it. I'm just preparing my pages with uh, light gesso. Uh, today I'm going to work on a project uh, for New Year's Eve, welcoming uh, 2017. For the background I'm going to use again my uh, beloved uh, Prima acrylic paints which are metallic. Uh, this is light patina. Uh, it's a very pretty color. Actually, I love all the colors. Uh, so far, I uh, prepared many uh, pages with these uh, paints. They have a very nice shimmer to them. As I build my color uh, using my brush, I, I can also tell you, uh, you, you will find a full list of supplies down at the description area as usual or in my blog. And to give a little bit variance and uh, a little bit border on the uh, edges, I'm using another color from Paper Artsy, uh, which is turquoise. So I'm just applying it with my hand. And I will do some background stamping. Uh, I'm using this beautiful uh, long foam ink pad that goes with the colors uh, very well and I'm using my uh, snowflake uh, background stamp uh, stamping it here and there to create a background lately I'm fond of these uh, tones of blues uh, which reminds me a cold uh, winter uh, day so I keep going back to these uh, often Now I will do a little bit layout on my page because I want to divide the page into some uh, windows uh, so to say. Uh, so I am drawing some lines with my uh, pencil. These won't show so I'm not worried about it. I just want to know where to stick my images. This way I will have uh, windows and uh, different images uh, which will create some uh, interest on my page. And before I move, I just wanted to have some uh, white snow as well. So I'm using this heavy body uh, acrylic paint, which is uh, from Dina Vicky. And I will do uh, simply splashes. I prepared some uh, images uh, by die cutting. Uh, these are uh, trees for example, I cut them with a red cardstock and I use these uh, trees uh, dies from Marianne's design. I will place them in this uh, part of the journal. I'm just uh, breaking them into pieces so I can create a cluster that will look nice. And the second thing I have is these uh, wishes from Avery L. Uh, these are really nice uh, words which is uh, joy, peace and love. What could be better uh, in the new year? Again, I cut them uh, in red cardstock and I place them in uh, three of the windows. And I have my uh, snowflakes in, with, cut with white cardstock this time. So I will uh, place them in uh, again some windows of my uh, journal as i said you will find all these supplies down below and i will create some gift boxes at the bottom of my page in another window so i'm using these beautiful long phone uh, papers uh, and uh, they are called perfectly played i'm just choosing the colors uh, that would go with my page which are blues and reds I'm simply cutting them in squares or uh, rectangles uh, and I will make a pile of gifts uh, on the uh, right bottom side. I think I have enough. Uh, now I will move to the next stage. 
Uh, I cut again, uh, I used my circle uh, dies this time from Tonic Studios uh, to create my own uh, snowman. So I cut three different circles with white cardstock uh, to create my uh, snowman. I just stick them on top of each other and I will go around it very lightly with a uh, distress ink. Uh, this is cracked, cracked pistachio. Uh, just to blend with the page a little bit better just on the uh, edges uh, a little bit touch and I want to do a little bit shading uh, around the snowman with my uh, big brush marker however I don't want to do it after I stick the snowman because I could ruin the color it's very white so I marked uh, where my snowman uh, is supposed to go and I'm doing the shading uh, without uh, sticking it it worked quite well, so now I'm going to stick my snowman with a matte medium. And before I stick my red images, I just want to go around them uh, with a distress ink uh, because it gives a little bit shading uh, so the images look uh, more interesting uh, and more realistic. I will also do it uh, around my gifts. And now it's time to stick my images. I'm using tacky glue uh, to stick my uh, sentiments. And I will do the same for my trees. I'm sticking my uh, snowflakes with a uh, gel medium. Don't ask me why, I don't know, I felt more comfortable uh, sticking the snowflakes with gel medium. Uh, but I keep uh, sticking the uh, other pieces with uh, tacky glue. I'm trying to create a scenery of there is something going on in each of these windows and I keep uh, sticking to the same uh, color palette of uh, blues, reds and whites. So now I'm going to stick uh, all my gifts uh, on top of each other creating a pile. I will just cut the excess and now I will give my uh, snowman uh, a face so I will uh, draw some uh, eyes, uh, a little nose and a big smile I will also draw open arms uh, as if he's celebrating the new year as much as I can because the page is quite full. And of course with pleasure I'm going to use my favorite sticker of the year, the Santa hat uh, from Little Bee. I used this uh, several times but it's so cute. I gave my snowman a little red nose. Uh, and I cut him a scarf. Uh, I'm going to give some color to my scarf, uh, red and white, uh, and I'm using my Sharpie to do so. I also sticked it uh, on my snowman, and I am making some uh, lines uh, acting like uh, ribbons uh, on my gifts uh, using my gel pen. And I did a few highlights here and there on my trees and on the scarf. Now I'm going to use my uh, Wink of Stella glitter pen, glitter pen uh, to go over my sentiments to make them uh, shimmery. And I punched uh, some hearts uh, with my uh, Martha Stewart uh, confetti uh, punch. 
uh, one of my favorite tools. I'm sticking these uh, here and there uh, with my uh, quickie glue pen. I really uh, love this glue pen. It helps so much when you have little pieces to stick. And I am punching uh, some hearts in white as well. I'm using my glitter pen on the hearts as well to make them shimmery. And while I'm at it, uh, I am also making the snowflakes uh, glittery. Once you have the pan, you can never have enough. And I will do a little bit more shading with my uh, pit brush pan around the gifts as well. And at this stage, uh, I'm sorry to say, things went wrong with the camera. But there was not uh, much a lot uh, that I did, details, so uh, I believe I can talk you through it. I trimmed some uh, white paper to create these windows uh, on my page, uh, so I stick them uh, on the parts that I separated before. This way I created my windows. And I thought it's very appropriate to use party balloons on a new year page, so I used my long phone uh, party balloons uh, die set and I chose two balloons to stick on my page. I stamped a big uh, 2017 as you see with black archival ink using this uh, stamp set by Tim Holtz. You will see the link uh, down below as well as uh, everything else I used. And I did uh, some highlights with my white gel pen. As you see there is a happy uh, 2017 uh, in smaller letters. I reached for, for my uh, very much love Dovecraft uh, small letter alphabet, again stamped with uh, archival ink. And of course I used my glossy accents on the hearts. And I put more wishes to my Tim Holtz ideology uh, chit chat sticker set. I wish all the magic, hope an adventure for you in 2017 as well as joy, peace and love. Then the snow wasn't enough so I used my uh, Nuo uh, crystal drops uh, in glossy white I think uh, and I made some drops of uh, snows all around the page. And finally I used my Faber-Castell uh, pen to go around the gifts, the snowman uh, my uh, white strips uh, creating the windows just to give them a little bit definition and to make them pop uh, on the page even more. To create my border I used uh, also Faber-Castell brush pen and uh, I did it uh, with my hands simply. I painted it a little bit uh, in black and my page was finished. I hope uh, you like how it looks. Uh, apologies for the inconvenience uh, that my camera caused. Uh, but I, I hope you enjoyed the video overall uh, and you liked the result and got inspired with it. Thank you so much for uh, your support, watching my videos and your lovely comments all the time. I really appreciate it. I wish you all a very happy New Year's Eve and a very uh, happy 2017 ahead. Hope to see you next time.